Good morning, good morning. Oh, life. Sometimes throws you curveballs, right? Especially these days. Uh, we are in the Mark Twain Journal. We are on day five, five, which is his fourth chapter. Isn't that right? Because I'm because I did the first day. I'm already confused. Um, I have some printables. I have some notes. I have some pictures. Uh, I have some scrap papers that I cleaned out of my own drawer. I have a space book. Today his book talked about his this chapter talked about crossing the international date line um and an eclipse of the moon so i have some pictures of the international date line i have a picture of an eclipse of the moon and i have a picture of his ship it was very famous the ship he sailed on was the waramu and that ship was also famous for documenting crossing the international date line on New Year's Eve between 1899 and 1900, um, which is cool. Part of the, the front part of the boat was in the 1800s and the back part of the boat was in the 1900s as it was crossing. Cool. So I'm going to try, because I'm influenced by this Nick Bantock, which I can't keep using his images because, you know, hello. I'm not selling anything. And I paid for the book, but it is his copyright. So I think I'm going to, I've made some of my own images. I've made some of copies from printables off my lovely, lovely, uh, um, patron purchases. I don't know if I'm going to use these. I don't know. But I would kind of like to make a collage in the fashion of Nick. Yeah, we're on day four. Let's not skip a page. Oh, and my band-aid is all creepy. Day four here. And talk about the international date line and the eclipse of the moon. Now, Strange fact, we had a full moon last night. <laughs> um, we had a hurricane come through. I don't think it was a hurricane. I think it was a tropical storm. Isa, 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 Isa. It was hard to pronounce. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've heard many different versions of it. Um, if I act scatterbrained, I am. On a normal daily basis, I am. But we've had a bad turn of events with our dog, um, who is 16. These things are to be expected. Um, I don't want to get into it too much. He's still with us. He is currently on three blood pressure medicines uh, to tr try to control his blood pressure. This dog weighs nine pounds and his blood pressure was 300 at the emergency vet on sunday evening where we spent five hours <laughs> um actually i think it was four and a half but we weren't the only ones that was packed in the midst of covid now this is the second time i've been to that emergency vet in the midst of covid one time was with my sister and her cat Different outcomes. We were expecting her outcome. Um, we have elected to stabilize his blood pressure to control. It's not the right term, but it's what it looks like. A seizure sequence that is happening. 
Um, we had an ultrasound of his stomach done. We elected not to get a cardiologist involved because we did not want to put him through any more than he was already going through. He spent the night after four and a half hours. We kept him overnight there and picked him up last night at um, five, well, it was 4.30, but we actually got him at six because it's just crazy. And um, so without going into too much because I probably won't hold it together, <laughs> And I didn't even know if I should really talk about it, but she is a very precious part of our family. If you've had a dog for that length of time, it kind of happens. Well, it happened the first day we got him, but um, he is 16. We knew this was going to happen, but we didn't know why it would happen or how it would happen. And we now know he has a large mass. We don't know what kind of mass, but we're not going to further investigate it. We just know it's a large mass on his adrenal gland, which is part of what's is the Cushing's diagnosis, which we were told he most likely had three years ago. We elected not to go into any more. Um, investigation on that because it is very invasive it's hard it's constant testing for like three or four weeks every day it that's anxiety enough for him just going to a vet um i think he did not feel well on sunday so badly that he didn't care where he was going um and you know, you have to hand, right now, you have to hand your animal over to a lady at your car window with a mask on. And we had masks on and um, fill out forms and talk to them on the phone, by phone. Last night, we had to go to the pharmacy and pick up three different, well, one is coming in the mail. Two, we had to go pick up at the pharmacy window that our blood pressure, human blood pressure medicines. Um... The treatment we are doing currently, okay, there's the ship, is non-invasive. It's just giving him pills. They're so tiny that if you stick them in a little tiny piece of cheese or um, some kind of something or other, he doesn't even know he's taking it. Okay, I need to keep stuff off the center line. I need to remember that. Can I move this still? So, we don't know. She can't, the doctor can't predict how long this will go on. We are not leaving him alone, obviously, because the seizure, the, he had two seizures on Sunday, which is what led us to immediately go on to the emergency vet. The second one was, the first one, he didn't know what was happening, and he's kind of aware what happens is his legs all go straight out at a 45 degree angle out from underneath him and he can't get up on his own and uh that happened on sunday about four o'clock the only difference was he didn't know it was happening and uh that was rather scary because he's had no clue he wasn't upset or anything um he didn't know it was happening. That was alarming. And the second seizure he had was on our bed because by then I had put him on a soft surface that he had traction on. I was with him and his whole body, his, well, no, that's not true. His head went first, flopped over. He was kind of sitting up, but his head flopped over. He immediately started screaming. Arr, arr, arr. Weird noises. I won't go into that. Terrifying noises. Um, and 
I panicked, he panicked. I don't know if he knew what was happening, but we immediately called the vet at that point and they said, no, nope, bring him in. And off we went. Um, okay. That is sort of cool. It's on a magazine page. Pictures that I've made uh, with text texture, the International Dateline. The ship, the war mo. More texture from a, a picture of a rug in black and white. The lunar eclipse. And I didn't use my printables. Oh, wait a minute. I do know what I want to use, though. I want to use a stamp. I've gotten a bunch of different images of stamps off the internet. Off of free non-copyrighted, not free, but non well, they were free, but they're not copyrighted images. And I kind of want to put one of those on here. And this is an oceanic island. I'm not sure which ocean and or which island. And it kind of matches our color scheme. So, yeah. Needless to say, we can't leave him. <laughs> We also had a tornado, a hurricane yesterday. We also had another copperhead in our yard. And we also, my car was flooded again, which we just got it back like two months ago after being flooded. And it's leaking, it's leaking like in the vents along the windshield where the motor can cool off, but it's coming into the car. Well, they fixed it. This is the second kind of, the same kind of, the same model, of, brand of car, it's a different model, but it only happens to my cars. It doesn't happen to my husband's, who has the same brand. Why does this happen to mine? <laughs> Anyhow, I only saw that because going to the grocery store yesterday and all of this, it's like, why is there water back over on the floorboard on the passenger side? That's not supposed to be there. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. So my husband is off today with my car because I we both can't go taking it to the water man. <laughs> There's a, for this, where we take our cars to get um, repaired is a, he specializes in our brand of car. And uh, that place any water problems are done by an independent contractor guy who um, freelances himself out. But he's the water man. And we only know this because we've already visited the water man for my previous car. Same brand, different model. And, uh, yeah. It's like, okay, no more universe. No more. Done. I'm done with you today. Bogey is very disoriented. He's really um, he's not out of it, but he's I don't know if he's it's hard, it's so hard to tell and I can read him pretty well. He's I think he's mad at me cuz I took him to one of his most least favorite places and they trimmed his toenails and they trimmed his ears which needed to be done but he won't let me do them and I'm his groomer these days. So then he sh they shaved his stomach to do the ultrasound. I guess he associates it with I'm the last person who touched him and I took him to that building. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not upset that he's mad at me because he may not be. It's how I'm kind of seeing it at the moment. But um, he may animals know things that we don't know and he may know, you know, Anyhow, dogs, pets, you love them and you love them and you love them and when it's the end, it's so sad. Again, 16 great years. <laughs> Hey, I'm only going to fold that over just because it was a little bit wider 
and I kind of think, you know, a little bit of that stuff is kind of cool. It's gonna make my lumpy left happen, but oh, the hurricane! The hurricane was either a hurricane category one or got downgraded to a tropical storm overnight. There's mer flooding in Myrtle Beach, but we would have heard anything if it had hit our house there. But it's supposed to be in New York by tomorrow. That's how fast the storm, pro what's left, is moving. And they're expecting flooding up there still from it. Water, nature, I'm telling you, nature. Nature, nature, nature. Don't ever underestimate nature. Never have, never will. This is the paper from yesterday. I think I'm going to put it right here just because I love these bits. Even though my ink cartridge was going in as pinkish. Or would it be cool to have this? Oh, yeah, let's do that because that says the universe. The universe says tomorrow, and we're crossing the international, whoopsie, the international date line, and the date is confusing. <laughs> He's, Mark Twain in his book said there was a man on the boat that offered, there was a lady that was, her baby was due at any moment. And I don't know if she was one of the people that was supposed to get off in Hawaii. Because I don't imagine I would travel if my baby was due any moment on these tiny ships in those days. But um, if her baby was born on a mon the Monday of that week, he would give her, you know, a certain amount of money. Knowing good and well that on one side of the dateline they were on Sunday. And on the next side of the dateline they were on Tuesday. <laughs> she thought it was going to be a great offer if she had it on that day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Sort of. Sort. Anyhow, I think that's cool how that ended up. Really cool. And I'm going to have to trim it a little bit. So, Bogey is under watch. Watchful eyes. I've been watching him really carefully in the last month, anyhow. Just because these seizures are so scary. And I'm worried that with all his legs splaying out like that. Oh, did I tell you he has two masses? One on his adrenal gland and one in his stomach. Um, we're not pursuing benign or malignant we're just pursuing quality of life with controlling his blood pressure because they said his blood pressure is what cause is causing that and then the mass on the adrenal gland is causing surges in hormones causing these fits where his legs go up i can't imagine one time or another when your four legs go out straight perpendicular to your body you don't break a hip I read somewhere that some dogs or all dogs don't have hip joints in their back legs because that's how they run. I don't know. I read that somewhere. Could be wrong. Could be completely wrong. All right. I just added that because I felt like it needed to go there. Okay. So this is day four. Ooh, it's black right there. And I wonder, wonder, wonder if one of these is going to work for me. I have mixed usage results of a uniball signo seems to be okay though day three this is day four and i need to journal i think i will just put the international oh. date line under a lunar eclipse What 
day is it now? And just leave it at that. And it does, it is like a little bit, I don't think you can see that. The Hawaiian Islands are right here. Here's the United States. Hawaiian Islands are right there. And it goes like that. I'm not really sure what the international dateline is there for. Oh, I just love this. I think I'm going to have to rip this a little bit. I don't want a straight edge. I like the ragged, jagged edges, but it won't, it's so narrow it won't rip, I'm afraid. Okay. Love that. And how that has tomorrow in it. Tomorrow. Love that. Okay. That is cool. I just like the textures and the mixtures of some of those collages from Nick Bond. And that whole book is a puzzle. All the collage sheet sheets have a different clue. I don't have a clue on how to do that. I know Jose Naranya has done a couple things like that. Don't know how. Wouldn't even begin to know. Okay, so now we are going on to day five tomorrow. Which is kind of cool too if you're into the stars. Okay, thanks for watching.